Uh, nah, just really, really pleased with our guys. Um, we knew this was going to be a difficult one. Uh, I'm just pleased with the, the energy and effort our guys gave because it's a tough road trip and our third game in nine days and only have eight guys. Um, really concerned about it because this is a team, Air Force, who hasn't, uh, they've struggled some defensively, but offensively they've been really good all year. And I thought we really guarded. Uh, we did just about everything that we wanted to do defensively and then uh, offense really clicked. We, we got open looks, made them. Obviously Jalen had one of those special nights and um, he's just playing at an extremely high level. So very happy for him. And But then I thought we just got good play out of a lot of people. You know, Robbie, nine rebounds. JC had seven and six. Um, thought Niz did a good job of scoring for us. Lindsey, I think he went over what, Jack? Nine, 900, 600 tonight, which you get 600 rebounds at that position. Um, that's an incredible job on the backboard. Thought KJ, 10 and five. Um, even Zane, he almost had the, um, the devilish 666, but they only have 5,000 college. If we'd had the NBA rule, he might have got that, but. Um, he did get three putbacks, which was huge. And so, uh, and Kane, I thought Kane really battled. Uh, I just really liked what um, all the guys did. I thought it was a very, very good team win for us. So just how impressed are you with what your front court was able to provide for you tonight? Well, it, we've said it. That's where our growth has got to take place. You know, obviously, um, with Lindsey and Niz and Jalen, these are, these are older guys and very talented guards where our – Outside of JC, who didn't play a whole lot at BC, um, our inexperience is in that front court. And I think we're seeing some growth. We saw even some of it on the uh, on the road trip. Uh, first time these guys have even been in there. I, I think Robbie is really starting to learn how to play through fatigue. Uh, and young players need to learn that. And he's starting to do that. Uh, KJ's starting to put together some numbers, which is good. Um, and we know Zane can score the ball as he improves defensively. That's going to help us. But now JC, um, he's just got to travel with this, you know, because I, I think his game at home has been really good. We just need for him to travel this kind of energy uh, when we're on the road. And that's going to be his next step. But obviously the front court's where we got to continue to see progress. And then hopefully we can get Jazz back. You know, if we can get Jazz back, that would be a – a huge shot in the arm for us, but uh, while he's out, this is three out of the four halves he's been out. We've played pretty good basketball, and that's you know that that says something about the team. And very pleased with that because it's not easy losing a player of that caliber. Jalen with his third straight game of thirty plus. Uh, well, when was the last time you saw a guy go on an offensive stretch like this? I mean, he's almost averaging twenty eight points over the last nine. Yeah, you know, I'd have to look, Chris. I, I just I know he's on a roll, and, and he's doing. You know, he did it on twenty one shots. He shot the ball well. He, six of eight from three. He made his foul shots. He gets six rebounds. He had a two to one assist or turnover ratio, and he really guarded. I thought he did a tremendous job defensively, and. He's doing a good job. We've been talking to him about just stepping up leadership because Jazz and him were kind of taking that load. And when Jazz obviously went out, that puts even more onus on him to lead. And I think he's just doing a terrific job with that. So he's in a special groove right now. And hopefully um, hopefully we can ride this groove for a while because um, he's very talented. He works very, very hard at his game. And it's good seeing that when somebody works that hard to, to produce like this. He can score in so many different ways. What makes him such a talented, special scorer? Well, he's got he's got a good frame to him. He's really athletic. Uh, he's he, I think where he's really grown, to be honest with you, is how he drives the basketball and he's finishing at the rim. Uh, now he didn't finish when he's trying to get 39th and 40th point, uh, but I think he's done a really good job because I thought early in the season he wasn't a very good finisher, um, and I think he's done a tremendous job at re being a good closer at the rim. Uh, and just like, you know, he, he knew he's coming out. You know, I, we, I told him, I said, we can't leave you in any longer. Um, and he knew it wasn't going to happen. He's got the ball and he drives and two guys meet him. And I can't remember if it was J, uh, if it was KJ or who, but he, instead of him forcing up a shot to try to get 40, he makes a great pass. Um, and that just speaks volumes of who he is, how he's grown as a player. And that's what's been a lot of fun watching his growth. How close was Jazz to playing tonight? Um, I don't think very close tonight. I hope he gets a lot closer Saturday. Uh, we got day off tomorrow, much needed. So hopefully um, 
you know, we're, we're going to be almost at a week. I think we'll be almost right at a week. Um, so hopefully the shoulder will respond well, and we'll obviously continue to talk to doctors as they look at him. But uh, I know he felt better today than what he felt the last the other two days. But we really kind of went into this game last night knowing he wasn't going to play. So um, he's questionable for Saturday. Um, hopefully, hopefully things will go good here over the next three days, next, you know, 72 hours, hopefully it'll be good for him. I know your road record's been talked about a lot, but I think this is like the 18th straight home win in conference. I know you haven't been there for all of those, but why have you guys been so good at defending home and not letting Well, I don't know about road. I mean, if you look at all the teams in our in our league and other leagues, um, there are not a lot of road wins. You know, you got Colorado State just got their second road win today. Boise just got their second road win today. Um, New Mexico doesn't have two. We don't have two. The bottom four teams do not have um, – they, they're at zero or one. So you're only looking at – you're only looking at San Diego State that's got more than two road wins. <laughs> so it's not just Nevada. Um, we're inexperienced. We're, we're doing this for these guys of – what home game was this? Twelve? So these inexperienced guys have played 12 games in this building now. Um, they're playing for the first time at Colorado State. They're playing for the first time at Boise. Um, those aren't excuses. It's just they don't know, and it's different. Winning games on the road is very, very difficult. Um, when we've had our best teams, they win on the road. You've seen San Diego State do that. Nobody else in our league's doing it. That's why you've got a bunch of us bunched together. Um, that was our – what was that, our seventh win? So we're at seven wins, and I think Boise and uh, Colorado State are at eight. So, I mean, we're all bunched together, and it's who's going to win road games. And right now, Colorado State and Boise's ahead of that group because they've won two road games. Um, so we got to continue to hold serve at home and then find a way in these last few road games to try to get some road wins. But it's not easy doing that. Any more questions for Coach? Thank you. Okay, thanks so much. Or to win, what did you like to squash an opponent like you did tonight? Uh, it felt good coming off of two tough losses on the road. Uh, it's always good to be back home, you know, be able to come home and pick our game up and be able to get a win, like you said, to squash them. You know, that's a good thing. It's good for us. Good confidence building. And for you, Lindsey? Uh, like you said, you know, definitely coming off those two tough losses we had, uh, you know, it's always great being back home. And, uh, you know, we didn't want to make it be a close game. And, uh, you know, really uh, bearing our opponents like that was good for us, for sure. Third straight game uh, for 30 plus points for you, Jalen. I think the first player in Nevada history to do that. What, why do you feel like you've been so strong offensively the last few games? Um, just been confident. You know, my teammates have been doing a good job of finding me. The coaches have been doing a good job of putting me in these opportunities to make plays. And so that's what it's been the past few games, just trying to do whatever I need to do for us to win. Coach kind of commented on how you've improved offensively finishing at the rim as the year has gone along. Why do you think you have gotten better around around the rim and, and converting those? Um, a lot of times, I think it's you know my pace. Like sometimes I'll rush it, or sometimes I'll you know I don't get focused on the rim like I should. But uh, I've been, like you said, he's been emphasizing that for however the past couple of weeks, and so just working on it day in and day out has been a thing. So Lindsay, it's up to you. You know, kind of run the show out there. I'm, I'm wondering two games in a row now with with no Jazz. Could you fill us in on how that changes things, you guys' approach and that sort of thing? Uh, yeah, at first it was kind of weird just not having Jazz out there, uh, but you know having Niz filling, you know, it's, you know those, those those two are really close, and you know they kind of model their games after each other. So you know it's kind of like having Jazz out there and Niz, uh, but you know we just everybody knows that we have to step up uh, having Jazz out. Uh, you know Jalen knows that obviously, but you know other guys, uh, me uh, myself included, uh, just have to you know fill in that role that Jazz uh, used to bring. Lizzie, how would you describe how Jalen's been playing the last few weeks? Uh, honestly, spectacular. You couldn't, couldn't ask for more. You know, he's doing everything he can. Uh, like I said, we just have to, you know, help, uh, you know, do what we can do. Are you more pleased with the offense or the defense today? Because, I mean, both ends of the court seem really phenomenal. Uh, definitely defense. Uh, you know, last time we played them, you know, we, we, we scored the ball the same way we did today, except, you know, they were – they were in the 80s, I think. So, you know, uh, being able to, you know, shut out teams uh, better, you know, is something we have to focus on down the road. 900 points, 600 rebounds, uh, all in the silver and blue for Nevada. Does that make it kind of a little bit more special doing it all at one school and 
uh, what does it feel like to uh, accomplish such a great accomplishment? Uh, yeah, it definitely feels good, you know. Uh, in the summer, you know, I wasn't, didn't plan on going anywhere. You know, this is where I'm comfortable at. So, uh, you know, I'm putting, putting my blood, sweat, and tears out there on the court for Nevada. So it, it definitely feels good. Um, I guess 900 school, but it's whatever. You know, dude's on – I was joking with Nick. <coughs> I think he got like 1,200 in two years. But, you know, it's, it's cool. <laughs> Jalen, you feel like this is the best basketball you've ever played? Um – it's probably, yeah, the most comfortable I've been. You know, I've, that sit out year, uh, it was a lot for me to be able to develop more. And it kind of gave me a different mentality on the game and be able to appreciate it more, not having it every day. And so that's what I feel like a lot of it is. I try to tell myself every day before the games is just to, you know, appreciate it all. Because like you said, we have we got seniors on the team and there's not many more games left me and Lindsey will play together. You know, so stuff like that, like I take that into consideration before every game. Where do you think you got better during your retro year? Uh, like I said, just that the whole mental side of it, you know, trying to, trying to, um, what's the word? I can't think of the word, but trying to master that side of the game is my biggest, was my biggest focus over that year. And so that was, it was a tough year overall, but just the work to put in is, is what we're seeing now, I feel how, like. How badly did you want 40? Uh, <coughs> I wanted it, you know, my teammates wanted it for me. But at the end of the day, like I said, to get the win is more important. You know, to squash them, like you said, is was better for the team. So, Jalen, you said that's the most comfortable you've been. What's gotten you to that point where you can say that? Um, like I said, my teammates instilling confidence in me every day. My teammates, my coaches, put me in opportunities and stuff like that. That's been the biggest thing for me. Do you feel like you've had to step up offensively with Jazz out? I mean, you were having good games before then, but. You're obviously taking a few more shots with him sitting on the sideline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's a couple more looks, a couple more opportunities when Jazz out. But at the end of the day, we all have to, we all have to step up, do whatever we got to do to win. And so, <clears throat> if that you know if that means I take a couple more, Lindsey takes a couple more, and that's what we need to do. Uh, Coach also commented on how you've had to take a larger leadership role the last couple of weeks. Is that something you're comfortable with? And then I guess how would you describe your leadership style? Mm. I'm more of a, like you said, my style is more of a, more of a show, lead by example type. But just trying to be more of a vocal leader has been a, a big, big thing for me this year. Just trying to uh, lead the younger guys. We're young and inexperienced, and so trying to lead them day in and day out has been a, <clears throat> a big piece of development. Lindsey, you haven't been through four years of Mountain West wars, and like this year with Wyoming almost coming in here and getting a win. Was it important? Did you want to kind of step on these guys tonight? I mean. Was it important to say, hey, Air Force, you know, no chance? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, honestly, that San Jose loss, you know, it's probably my, one of my most memorable losses for sure. So, uh, yeah, I know how it is, you know, battling the Mountain West. And, you know, in the past, you know, we've had more success, I guess, against some teams. So, you know, definitely for this last year, I want to show out for that. Like you mentioned, has had a really good game. Um, you know, it seems like he's played really well of late. What's kind of been the difference for him? And how happy are you to see him playing so well this season after last year? I'm oh, sorry, who? Niz. Oh, Niz, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely, uh, you know, Niz was averaging 20 points at his last school. So, you know, uh, everybody, you know, has confidence in Niz. You know, he might have not got as many minutes last year, but, you know, he's, he's had the time now. So, you know, we all believe in him and what he can do. I know you guys haven't had the greatest road record, but why do you feel like you've been so good at home with, you know, 18 straight conference? wins here at Lawler and, and obviously very strong this season? Um, I don't know, probably just an, ex uh, an experience, uh, you know, you know, we're a really good team at home, but, you know, on the road, you know, we, we seem to struggle. So I think that's honestly just an experience. But, you know, at this point now, you know, it's February, you know, there's no excuse for that. So 